Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about how you can quickly rename files with a text expansion tool like Text Expander on the Mac or Brevi on Windows. So a text expansion tool is an application that lets you create little text shortcuts and when you type in that text shortcut it will automatically replace it with a longer piece of text that you've saved. This comes in really handy when going paperless because as you know, you're go going to be going through and renaming a lot of documents and either you'll want to create some shortcuts that let you type in, uh, you know, dates and stuff like that on a regular basis. Or if you have recurring bills like, uh, you know, a cable bill every month or, you know, some sort of client that you're always giving similar file names to, a text expansion tool can be a huge help for that. So this demo is going to be using a program for the Mac called Text Expander. And Text Expander is a program that it's one of those things where when you see it, you think, uh, you know, I'm a fast typer. Do I really need this? Uh, that's certainly what I thought for a long time. But once you have it, you can't uh, even imagine what using a computer would be like without it. So in this demo, I'm going to be using Text Expander because that's what I use and I'm on the Mac. If you're on Windows, there's another program called Brevi to it here. And I'm not personally familiar with Brevi. I haven't used it myself, but my understanding is it's basically a Windows equivalent of Text Expander. And in fact, it can read in Text Expander uh, snippets, as they're called. So that's an introduction to Text Expansion. Let's jump into it and see how it can help us. So I've got some documents here that I've scanned with my ScanSnap. And what I, the way I usually do things when I have a lot of documents to scan is I will scan them all to an inbox, and then I'll go through and rename them after. So to rename them, of course, I can go through and, t and type the name of the, of the document. But if it's something on a recurring basis, like in, in the example I'm going to give, I say a Citibank visa, it's going to be a pain to have to type that in every single time. You might not think it will make that much of a difference. But trust me, once you, once you have this stuff set up and you use it on a regular basis, it'll save you a lot of time. So what I want to do is I want to create what's called a text snippet to replace some code with the word Citibank Visa. And I'll show you how that works. I'm going to go over here to uh, my doc and I have Text Expander running. I'll bring that over here. What I'm going to do, and there's a faster way to do what I'm about to do, but I'm just kind of showing you the step-by-step uh, -step way first. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click New Snippet. And let's say that every time I want to rename the file, I want to have in the file name a dash, and you'll see why in a second, and I want it to be Citibank underscore Visa. So I want that to be there every time. And for an abbreviation, let's say I want it to be um, semicolon CBV. You want it to be something short that you'll remember, but you also want it to be uh, something that you wouldn't type in a normal in a normal situation. So that's what I'm going to use under uh, semicolon CBV, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to close this now that I've now I've saved this. And let's go back to our file. So I'm going to hit enter to get rid of the to put it into rename mode. I'm going to get rid of everything except the date. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type my semicolon CBV. And you can see when I type that in, it automatically expanded it to be Citibank Visa. I just hit enter and it's renamed. So that's a very simple use case for how you can create a text expander snippet to give a name to your file. But what, what I just showed you assumes that you've gone in and you're going to create a bunch of these snippets ahead of time. But what if you want to think of them as you're, as you're naming your files? There's a fast way to do that too. So I'll show that next. So let's say that uh, in this case, I'm going through and renaming my files. And as I'm typing something in, I think that would make a good snippet. And the best practice you want to get into when using a text expansion tool like Text Expander or Brevi is anything that you think you're going to be able to type, have to type more than once or you know more than a few times, create a snippet from it. And it will these things add up and save you a ton of time. So I'm going to hit Enter again. I'm going to get rid of everything except the date. And I'm going to type in, uh, say, Comcast Cable. 
And then as I type that, I think to myself, oh, that would make a really great uh, snippet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the part that I want to make a snippet. I'm going to copy by on the on Windows uh, Command C. And then I'm going to go up here to the top where it text expander's menu bar icon is, and I'm going to say create snippet from clipboard. So I'm going to choose that. And right away you see it's already put in my Comcast underscore cable, and I'm going to give it an abbreviation semicolon uh, CCB or something like that, and I'm going to hit create. So then if I hit enter and get rid of this stuff, and I type semicolon CCB, it's going to automatically expand that again. And now anytime in the future I need to type in Comcast cable, I just need to type CCB. So there's a ton that you can do with text expansion tools other than just replace simple text. So a very common example is if you want to enter in today's date, and you can be date or time or date, but what we're going to do in our example is just replace everything with today's date. So what we're going to do is we're going to create new snippet again, but this time, what we're going to do is go down here to this menu here, go date, and let's say we want it to be year underscore month underscore day. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different formats that you can use, but we're just going to do simple year, month, day. And we're going to give it an abbreviation um, a semicolon YMD. Very simple. So now when we save this, and we want to replace this with today's date, we just need to go semicolon YMD, and it auto automatically uh, populates it with today's date, which in our case is the 16th. So you can see here that once you get used to this sort of thing, you can very quickly name files. So for example, let's say this was uh, a visa bill from for today's date. You could go semicolon YMD, semicolon CBV, and you've got the whole thing named with just a few with just a few keystrokes and you don't have to think about it. Very, very handy. And the last thing I want to show you uh, that can be very helpful when it comes to doing paperless naming is you can actually do math on the date. So you know how a lot of times in the, for example, the statement example we just gave, usually you get your statement the month after the actual date. So if you want to use, uh, say, today's date and then subtract a month from it, a text expansion tool like Text Expander can do that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this year, month, day snippet that we just created. I'm going to, I'm going to go down here and go duplicate. And don't worry about the orange for now. I'm going to put in front, and I'm going to go back here to the menu, go date, time, math, and I'm going to say subtract month. So you can see it put in this code. Don't You don't have to worry about the syntax yourself, uh, but it shows you subtracting a month. And I'm going to call this one last year month day, L-Y-M-D. So now when we close this, and let's say I want to rename this file again, I go semicolon L-Y-M-D, and it automatically puts it to October 16th, when today is November 16th. So there's a whole bunch of different kind of commands like that. You can control where the cursor goes. You can fill in text. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. But these are just a few examples of how you can use a text expansion tool like Text Expander on the Mac or Brevi on Windows to really speed up your paperless file naming. For more paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.